Come in, Lieutenant. This is General Garza. Do you copy? I read you loud and clear, General. I understand you've just landed on Taris. I've already contacted our local regimental commander, Colonel Gaff, to secure his support. Colonel Gaff doesn't know the specifics of your mission, only that he should assist you in every way possible. I'd like to keep it that way. I'll keep quiet on the details, General. That's for the best, Lieutenant. Taris is a dangerous and untamed wasteland. A Sith attack several centuries ago leveled every standing structure and virtually eradicated the local population. Where cities once rivaled Coruscant, only swamps and ruins remain. Reclaiming and rebuilding the planet has become an important symbolic goal for the Senate. If there is any way I can aid in the reconstruction, I'll do it. Of course. Just don't lose sight of your primary objective. That's all I have for you, Lieutenant. Report in when your operation is complete. I'll contact you as soon as the job is done, General. Well, well. General Garza graces us with her finest. At ease. I'm Colonel Gaff. These are my senior officers. Your CO sent orders to do whatever is necessary to support your mission. Of course, she didn't see fit to tell me what that mission is. You care to enlighten me? I can't discuss the details. Typical. Forget the reconstruction of Taris. I gotta shift everything around and help with some top-secret mission nonsense. Whatever Garza has you looking for, you won't find it on Taris. Nothing unusual has happened since I took command. Patrol teams 3, 5, and 8. All lost, all without explanation. Sergeant Dorn, I don't recall giving you permission to speak. I wasn't speaking to you. I was speaking to the Lieutenant, per General Garza's instructions. Are you ordering me to violate Code 73B and ignore the General's directive, Colonel? Always got a regulation to quote, don't you, Sergeant Dorn? I don't like it when people hide things from me. Who do you think you are, Lieutenant? That Havoc badge does not mean you can just ignore the chain of command. Taris is dangerous. Casualties are common on patrol teams. It's unfortunate, but not unusual. No matter what Sergeant Dorn says. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got a planet to run. Carry on with your secret mission. Just don't muck up anything important. Apologies for the Colonel, Lieutenant. Not all men are meant to lead. Colonel Gaff is disobeying a direct order. I can assure you it's not the first time he's done so. I'm Ilara Dawn, sir. Sergeant, first class, commander of Search and Rescue Squad 204. We have three full squads, all MIA on patrols. The situation is critical. What makes you say that? Eighteen unexplained casualties over two weeks. Regulations call for a battalion-level investigation, but nothing has been done. Casualties are common on swamp patrols. Rakugul attacks account for the majority, approximately 87%. However, SAR sweeps discovered no evidence of Rakugul activity in these instances. Someone else attacked those teams. If you're looking for unusual activity, then this is it, sir. I appreciate your help, Sergeant. I included the last known coordinates for the MIA patrols in my official incident report, Lieutenant. I'll load it into your datapad for your review. Taurus falls under unexplored, unsecured territory protocols. All armor cams transmit to SAR Command. I'll contact you with developments. Sounds like a plan, Sergeant. Good luck, Lieutenant. That was interesting. I've had drill instructors more relaxed than that woman. Not to mention that accent. What do you mean? What's unusual about her accent? The only people I've heard talk like that were Imperials. The Republic must have freed her homeworld in the war. Growing up imp would explain a lot about her personality. Let's just get on with the mission, Jorgen. You're the boss. Lead the way, Lieutenant. Those are power converters, Lieutenant. Old ones. Any theories on how they got to that location? 
I was hoping you could tell me. Power converters come from ignition systems, engine parts. It takes work to remove them. Someone dropped these converters. Either the patrol or their attackers. We need more information to determine which. I'll search the next coordinates immediately. I'll remain in contact, Lieutenant. Dawn out. More power converters. According to the logs, this patrol followed an entirely different route. Either both patrols recovered the same engine parts from separate locations, or the converters were dropped in both areas by one group. The attackers. I think we're on the right track, Sergeant. A specialist MO7 science officer could examine the converters to determine their source. We have such an officer on staff. I will notify him while you search the last coordinates. Sounds like a plan, Sergeant. Very well, Lieutenant. I'll proceed to Science Division at once. Good luck, Lieutenant. Lieutenant, status report. Are you injured? These guys didn't have a chance against me. Your attackers were scavengers. Threat assessment reports classify them as a non-combatant group. That classification is clearly inaccurate. I'll notify command. I need to know where these scavengers come from, their numbers and armaments. Unknown, sir. Local intelligence felt they weren't worthy of investigation. Armed hostility against Republic personnel clearly justifies an immediate armed response, Lieutenant. It's your call. We need to move against these scavengers immediately. Orbital Scan has just managed to pinpoint the location of the scavengers' compound. I'll scramble up my team and prep them immediately. We'll effect entry to the compound once you've created an opening. I'll see you on the other side, Sergeant. Good luck, Lieutenant. Sergeant Dawn, out. You... you're from the Republic. Watch out. There's a huge alien guarding us and... Ah, there it is! Run for it! Chalk up another kill. Whoa. Who are you? You took that thing down easy. Commanding Officer Havoc Squad. You're kidding. They actually sent Havoc Squad after us? I'm Ensign Tain, sir. I think it's a good thing you found us. The scavengers were gonna ship us off to some guy named Needles as soon as we healed up. Needles? As in Ryler Dorn, the Havoc Squad medic? I really don't know. Needles is all they ever called the guy. Figured it must be a code name, right? Needles is a code name. Oh, I guess you've heard of him then. Well, the scavengers also said... Here they are. Cav, Gorin, cover the exit. Vice, Marco, Tabba, see to these men's wounds. Oh, great. Sergeant Dorn's here to make sure we get stomped according to regulation. Report, Ensign. Did you learn anything about the enemy? Uh, yes, sir. Sergeant, sir. As I was just telling the lieutenant here, we were captured for some guy named Needles. And get this. There are Imperials here, on Terrace. They're working with this Needles guy in a hidden base out in the swamps. These days, the Imps are everywhere. So, are you excited, Dorn? You finally have the chance to correct your old buddy's paperwork again. That attitude's getting you nowhere fast. Uh, uh, yes, sir, Lieutenant. Sorry, sir. Many of the local troops feel that my adherence to regulations is a result of my upbringing, Lieutenant. I was born Imperial. However, after two years' service in the Imperial military, I defected. Given my extensive knowledge and training, I was awarded this position under Service Code 37R. What made you change sides? The Imperials regularly violated their own stated regulations and intentions without cause. I refused to participate. We can discuss non-mission critical issues later. My team and I will get these men back to base, Lieutenant. You proceed with your mission against Needles and his Imperial installation. I have the lead I was after. Time to act on it. I'm glad I could help point you in the right direction, sir. Good luck. Looking for needles, are you? I'm afraid he's long gone, my friend. 
Let's see those hands, nice and slow. Don't worry, I won't give you any trouble. I wouldn't stand a chance fighting you, so I won't. Instead, let me make a suggestion. I'll tell you everything you need to know about needles, but in exchange, you have to let me go. You seem to know an awful lot about my mission here. You're wearing a Havoc Squad insignia and searching needles files. It doesn't take a great mind to put the two together. It's simple. Let me live, and I will tell you everything. Kill me, and you'll learn nothing. Come in, Lieutenant. This is Sergeant Dawn. Do not trust this man. I served with him in the Empire. His name is Thorus. What? Who... who's that? Who, who are you talking to? D Dawn! Is that you? Thorus is a mass murderer, Lieutenant. A war criminal. I'm listening, Sergeant. Go on. During my time in Imperial service, Thorus ordered the executions of hundreds of civilian non-combatants and full-scale bombings of unarmed populations. Furthermore, these actions were committed in circumvention of direct orders from Imperial Command. I am a soldier. I, I do what I must to achieve my objectives, just like you, Lieutenant. I don't kill civilians, you imp scum. Please, listen. I'll tell you everything. Everything I know. Needles is doing experiments on the rat ghouls. He wants to understand the disease, to turn it into a weapon. He left here a few hours ago. He said he was visiting some friends in the ruptured sewer system to get more samples. I'm gonna need a lot more detail here. Rat ghouls! He needs more to continue his research. He won't say who his friends are, but the, they supplied the rat ghouls. That, that's everything. That's all I know. I've given you what you wanted. Now what about me? You'd know better than I would, Sergeant. What should I do here? I respectfully suggest you discharge your weapon into Thoris's skull, Lieutenant. No! This isn't fair! If you're still recording, Sergeant, now would be a good time to stop. There seems to be some kind of signal interference, Lieutenant. Under code 35B, I'm cutting the connection to prevent signal interception. I'll meet you back in the SAR office, Lieutenant. Dawn out. No! Good work with Thoris, Lieutenant. War criminals do not deserve the opportunity to strike deals. Lab results confirmed Thoris's account. Needles has almost completed a weaponized strain of Rack Ghoul disease. However, the data makes no mention of Needles' friends in the ruins of the transport system. I can't say I'm looking forward to meeting these people. You said it. Doran's as creepy as they come. Available intelligence doesn't show any populations in the ruins of the transport system, but scans of the area have been cursory at best. Rack ghouls infest the area, making scouting by foot inordinately difficult. However, one traversable route has been located. I'll scout the area myself. Any geographical information you can bring back would be very helpful, Lieutenant. This ruined transport station is our only lead to Needle's location. I would encourage you to stock up on supplies and munitions before entering the area. Good luck. So congratulations to you, Ensign Sarvan, on your noble sacrifice. But sir, I... No, wait, sir, no! I... Ah. ah, exquisite. I'll be requiring more Rack Ghouls for my work, Borzoth. We already gave you the Rack Ghouls you asked for. When will you do as we asked? As soon as the weapon is completed. With it, we will decimate the Republic outpost. I smell an intruder. So you do. Sergeant, is that really you? I've moved up in the world since you last saw me. So I see. You've slaughtered enough Republic enemies to be rewarded, then. Well done. I see you aren't alone. You brought that pathetic worm all the way from Ord Mantell, just to die along with you. Talk all you want, Doran. You're not getting out of here alive. Your timing is impeccable. 
Just as I find myself with plenty of pathogen, but no more test subjects, you arrive. The transformation will hurt at first, but that's merely your organs rupturing and realigning. It's all over quickly, I assure you. I'm not getting turned into one of those things. Struggle if you must, then, but you'll wish you hadn't made it so hard on yourself. Vorzoth, please assist me in subduing our newest volunteer. <laughs> with pleasure. I'm going to enjoy taking you down. Take them. Target neutralized. Looks like more samples of Needle's weaponized Rakul disease. What should we do with them? We need to make sure nobody uses this stuff ever again. I think Garza would want a sample of this stuff for research division. You sure you want to destroy it? I don't like it, but I guess we should bring the samples back with us. Just be careful with those things. I'd say it's about time we got out of here, Lieutenant. We'll follow your lead. Welcome back, Lieutenant. Congratulations on the success of your mission. I couldn't have pulled off this mission without you, Sergeant. I was only following orders, Lieutenant. General Garza attempted to contact you a few moments ago. I took the liberty of briefing her on your mission status. Did she ask you about anything else? The General also asked for a summary of my service record, which I provided. The General requested that you contact her before departing Taurus. The holocom in the next room has been prepared for your use. I'll contact her right away. Congratulations once again, Lieutenant. Ah, greetings, Lieutenant. I understand congratulations are in order. Needles is neutralized, General. You've done very well. Needles was a brilliant man. Taking him down was no small feat. I haven't informed Cardin yet, but I doubt he'll be upset. He and Needles never did see eye to eye. I thought Cardin was close to everyone in Havoc. Yes, but Needles less so than the others. Purely different ideologies, those two. And yet, Tavis never had any problems with Needles. Hmm, perhaps that should have been my first warning. And there's something else, Lieutenant. Tell me, what do you think of Sergeant Dorn? Sergeant Dorn helped me when no one else would, General. Yes, your reception on Taris wasn't ideal. I'm glad you managed to find the one useful officer in the entire outpost. I looked over her service record. Impressive stuff, I must say. Were you aware that Dorn served with the Imperial military for almost two years, Lieutenant? She told me she grew up in the Empire. Yes, the accent is a dead giveaway. Pure German cos. Sergeant Dorn earned more commendations in her two years of Imperial service than most soldiers earn in ten. Since joining the Republic, she's earned two Medals of Valor, both for rescuing wounded soldiers under fire in enemy territory. This woman has led an exceptional career. Someone with Sergeant Dorn's skills would make a great addition to my squad. I agree. Sergeant Dorn is Havoc squad material without question. It's settled, then. Congratulations, Lieutenant. You're halfway to a full squad. I'll contact Colonel Gaff to notify him about the transfer. You should go and inform Sergeant Dorn yourself, Lieutenant. Contact me from your ship when you've finished. Garza out. Lieutenant, sir? Is there something else I can do for you? Go pack your gear. You're with me now. A transfer into Havoc Squad? Lieutenant, this... This is the greatest honor of my career. I... I'm speechless. Membership in Havoc Squad is the highest achievement in all of the Republic Armed Forces, Sergeant. Congratulations. Sergeant Dawn, reporting for duty, Lieutenant. I'll prepare my Regulation 6 personnel transfer documents at once. You've more than earned this, Sergeant. I'll gather my personal effects and meet you on board your ship, Lieutenant. Thank you. Lieutenant, I assume Sergeant Dorn took the news well? Sergeant Dorn is honored to be in Havoc Squad. Excellent. 
We'll have the squad fully restaffed in no time. One other detail. Were you able to retrieve a sample of the weaponized rat ghoul disease that Needles was developing? Got it right here. Excellent. Just leave it in the secured case beneath the hollow communicator. I'll see that it reaches research division. That's all for now, Lieutenant. Congratulations once again. Garza out. <laughs>